This is Jimmy Thomas here. I am talking with uh, our favorite All-American LSU Tiger, Carly Hoover. She's been kind enough to uh, sit down and chat with us for a little bit. Carly, thank you so much. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I am doing awesome. Thanks so much. All right. So um, you're stuck at home like the rest of us, right? And we're trying yes, to find I am. What are you doing to stay busy? So um, in this time, so I've been playing in Japan. So um, getting shipped back home and with my spring season being canceled, um, actually enjoying a lot of downtime with my parents and my sister. Um, we still, we live in Clemson. Um, so it's been nice just to hang out with my parents. Um, me and my dad have gone to the field a few times to practice. He still catches me in yeah. my downtime. Um, not any specific regimen since um, technically I don't have to go back to Japan until August. So like I don't have to be game ready anytime soon. So I'm not like going to start like heavy, heavy lifting until May. So I've just been like kind of practicing on my own and like just moving my body and doing whatever I want every day. So it's been kind of nice. That's awesome. I was going to ask you about sort of not having any trainers around or a full gym or not knowing exactly what's next. Like, so yeah. you're just trying to stay busy and, and, and move, right? For sure. And it's not a bad thing to do. Like, a month here and a month there throughout the year. I mean, when I was younger, I played multiple sports, so that was never an issue. So I'd be like full into club volleyball or full into AAU basketball or whatever was going on. I think like, you know, nowadays kids get tied into like 12 months travel softball, yeah. which is like a little aggressive. Yeah. Uh, so I still take a good, there's probably a good three months out of the year where I don't pitch a softball. Yeah. And I get paid to pitch a softball right, if that right, tells me. Right. So it's good to take a break. But you have a volleyball family, right? So multi-sports is kind of like y'all's thing, right? Yes, yes. So my sister played volleyball in college. My mom played volleyball at Illinois State, was in and out with USA for a little bit, and coached at Clemson for like 20-something years. So that's why we're in Clemson. But wow, go multiple, other players. Multiple Team USAs in one house. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what, about, uh, what about nutrition, right? I mean, are, are, at least for me, I want to eat everything in front of me, right? And we're bored and we want to eat. Like, do you, are you trying to focus on nutrition at all or, or like your workouts, just trying to stay in shape and, and eat healthy while you can? All right. Since we're being honest, when I'm in Japan, I make like a, I make a list in my phone notes of foods I must eat when back in Mexican is on top lately. Um, stuff that like my mom's homemade pizzas, I'm gonna lie, indulge for about a week when I got home. Um, but now like kind of back on track and back to normal, like, okay, when I'm in Japan, we literally practice nine to five. So it's a little easier to like eat more. Yeah. So I kind of got to be like, <laughs> not trying to get that quarantine 15, you know what I mean? Right. So trying to be better. And so like America has more options in Japan. So it's a little easier to eat um, healthier in my opinion and like with more variety right. so definitely back on track and back to like normalcy a little bit um, spending a lot of time like planning meals and it's been really fun like eating dinner with my family that wasn't something that we did all the time growing up because we were always on the go right. so um, like my sister lives a couple miles away in her house oh, cool. and we all get together pretty much every night and eat dinner together so that's been nice but we've been nutritious snacking yeah. less that's awesome. Well, we're stuck and you're also getting some family time, right? Because you, yeah. you travel so much, you don't get to do that very often, I would assume. Yeah, and when I was like, you know, travel by age, I didn't really value it, but I value it a lot more uh, today. So it's been really nice. Cool, cool. All right, so you said you were been pitching with your dad. Um, is he, does he wear gear or is he just um, like... It's me. He full gears up. There was a time, I want to say like five, six months ago before I went to Japan, like two halves ago so it kind of runs together he was wearing sunglasses and I was just doing rise spins maybe like 20 feet away yeah. so it like it, it hit off his glasses and he like is shook a little bit and he's like whoa good thing I was wearing a mask and I was like uh that those were your sunglasses not not your mask you know what I mean so like since then I've been kind of careful I kind of like throw full from like 50 feet not 43 yeah. or but it moves a little more when you add a few more feet, even though yeah. it's not fast. So like, you know, your long toss, it has more time to like cut. Yeah, yeah. But he does a great job, honestly. And he's caught me from like whenever I started pitching. And I mean, I threw 70 in high school. So yeah. like, we're, we're still going. That's just awesome. Yeah, I think <laughs> most of the great ones had their dad right along with them, right? I mean, he loves it. 
Yeah, that's great. And now I'm good enough to where he can actually sit on a bucket and I can hit a spot. It was a huge issue when like I couldn't do that. Now it's yeah. now I can actually like throw inside outside. So that's great. That's so funny. Yeah. So when when you do go throw, do you focus more on mechanics or do you just focus on like some things that you typically focus on or are you just focusing on staying loose and in shape and you know, arm active? Okay, honestly, like in this moment, I'm not hyper focused on things. Um, just because like technically I'd be throwing in season right now. Yeah. So it's just a very weird time. And also, like I said, I'm not gonna be throwing a game until September. So what is it? April? So it's kind of like in my opinion, if I'm hitting 75 today or 74 today, it's like not important. Like I need right. to be yeah. doing other things. Um, so in this moment, I'm more focused on like long toss and staying loose. And like, I always talk about feel. So like, let's even say if I'm long tossing or not even long tossing, let's just say I'm throwing from like 70 feet, casually stepping into it. I'm focusing on feeling the ball there and spinning it correctly. Um, and yeah, mechanics, having my body in the right, whatever. But it, realistically, like when I actually like am gearing up for a season or something, um, I go week by week. So like week by week, I plan out my workouts and I journal everything and I talk and like, okay, what did I suck at last week? What was I good at last week? Write all that down day by day. And then it's like, okay, I need to get my drop ball sharp AF this week. What drills can I do this week? You know what I'm saying? And then I pull out like my five best drop ball drills for this week and like nail them out every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was going to say, I was going to add, my next question is going to be what's next for you. And it kind of dials in because you're going to probably get your tunnel vision when you figure out what's next. Right. And, and yeah. Yeah, of course. So like May is going to be really heavy long tossing for me. Um, and then the next two months I'll really get like more dialed in and actual pitching and goals. And like I'll set usually every off season, I set like a realistic four to six goals that I can accomplish in that time period like last off season I had a good four to six that I accomplished within the first like four weeks and I was pumped because I was like man this is what I was going to spend three months working on you know what yeah, I mean right. um, so that's kind of like how I work but my season's a little different like because I have three months on in Japan three months off three months on and then three months off right. and then when I was with USA we had to be ready um, during one of those off times but now um, I didn't make the Olympic team so now it's like and I'm not going to play um, pro in America so yeah. I'm kind of like, all right, gearing up for next. I was planning on playing in Europe this summer, but obviously that's not happening, but it's okay. Right. So yeah. now you're just kind of in, in on hold, just kind of seeing what's next? Trying yeah, to but it just gives me more time to get better, honestly. I still feel like I'm a really young player, um, no matter what position I am in the world. I have a lot to work on. Um, so I'm just excited to, like, sharpen those skills. That's an awesome uh, way to look at it, for sure. And you definitely are young and have a lot ahead of you. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. So, okay, cool. I know you're busy and you have another call tonight. Last question. We got the draft tomorrow. Your LSU Tiger looks like you might have the number one pick. Are you stoked about it? Yeah, well, first things first, I'm upset that I wasn't a student when they went on a run. But yeah. once a Tiger, always a Tiger. Yeah, I'm stoked. I mean, whatever happens, happens. I'm also, like, I live in Clemson, so, I mean, obviously I support LSU first, but I support whatever hometown boys. Oh, I didn't even know. think about that whole deal in your household. Awkward. Oh, man. Yeah. So funny. But, like, my degree says Louisiana, so, like, what do you do? I gotcha. I gotcha. That's yeah. so funny. Well, Carly, thank you so much. I know all the members of 643 will really enjoy this and, and – uh, you know, they always look to leaders in the game like you to kind of steer them in the direction in weird times. And I think this is one of those times. So thank you so much for spending time with us. Yeah, of course. If you need anything else, let me know. And hopefully once all this stuff clears up, I could be back up there for some pitching stuff soon. We'll see. That'd be awesome. We'd love to have yeah. you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.